Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. It is Saturday, it is actually Christmas Day and it is grocery haul day. I picked all of these items up on Thursday so I will be showing you what I will be doing and using for my Christmas Day dinner. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I have personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there as we move into the new year. We have lots of good things coming your way. Merry Christmas friends and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I did Walmart grocery pickup. You're going to see a lot of unique things for Christmas and I'll let you know the recipes and the things that I'm going to be making with those items. And then of course, all of our food for the week. So let's jump in. As usual, a case of a Diet Coke for Troy. I've been loving these little Jello cups from this Winky brand. They are so good. This has been my go-to dessert because it's five calories. It even has a gram of protein and it works perfect with how I'm eating. So I went ahead and grabbed another pack because both of us have really been enjoying these. I'm making a charcuterie board for Christmas. So I grabbed this sharp cheddar cheese ball. I thought this looked really good. And this is actually something that I can have. That's part of why I'm making a charcuterie board because it's a lot of protein. I can just skip the crackers. So I thought this cheese ball looked delicious. Two Philadelphia light cream cheese. This is for a recipe. I also ordered these little salami rounds. These again are perfect for a charcuterie board. They're cut to just the right shape and size for crackers. And then I have a lot of deli meat. So for Troy's lunches this next week, he wanted roast beef and pastrami. So those are for his lunches. And then I picked up some turkey for myself. This is just something I like to have on hand. Quick, easy for a snack or a meal and really good source of protein. And then I grabbed the Gallo brand of the pepperoni. This is for the charcuterie board. Some reduced fat shredded cheese. This is for my meal prep. Cheddar cheese slices for Troy's sandwiches. He wanted the roast beef pastrami and cheddar. I also bought a brick of sharp cheddar cheese for the charcuterie board just so I can cut this into just different shapes to add some texture to the board. Buttermilk bread for Troy's sandwiches. I've been buying the Walmart bread. It just has hasn't stayed very soft for very long. So I thought that I would try this brand instead. This one feels nice and soft. It's just the Walmart ones seem to get dry pretty quickly. Maybe it's just me. So let me know if you've had that same thing happen with the Walmart brand of bread. I bought these huge colossal shrimp. This is for me. This is such a great option for me for a meal. And I want to make a shrimp inspired sheet pan dinner this next week. So I thought the big huge shrimps would be fun to have. My yogurt of choice is the too good just because it's low in sugar, high in protein. So I picked up another hibiscus mango, the mixed berry and the peach. I grabbed some little mini boxes of raisins. I like to throw these in Troy's lunch for him. Another one of my go-to sweet treats have been these popsicles colors from natural sources. These are so good. Last time I got the tropical ones and this time I just got the orange, cherry, and grape. A tiny little sour cream. I add sour cream to my mashed potatoes and I am making mashed potatoes for Christmas day dinner. I decided to pick up some sugar-free jello. The chocolate vanilla swirl sounded really, really good. This is a little bit higher in carbohydrates, but it still has zero added sugars. And I thought again, just a nice change of pace for a sweet treat. A big pack of little Smokies. I'm going to pop these in my crock pot pot with some barbecue sauce as part of our snacks and appetizers for Christmas. Some pico de gallo. I needed this for a recipe this next week. A three pack of my favorite ground beef from Walmart. This is their grass fed, grass finished ground beef. It's so good and super, super affordable. I'm just going to cut these apart and throw them in the freezer. And then of course my favorite sausages ever are the chicken apple sausages from Walmart. These make such a great breakfast, lunch, snack. They are so good. Nice, nice clean ingredients. 
The only thing that is the downfall of these is they do have a lot of sodium, so I just make sure I drink lots and lots of water. A can of extra creamy Ready Whip. I actually ordered the Walmart brand and they substituted for the Ready Whip brand, which is fine with me. I wanted this to add to the top of my Jello cups and my pudding cups. Three boxes of the Savory Herb Stove Top Stuffing. This is for Christmas Day dinner. Troy asked for stuffing. For Thanksgiving, I made two boxes, which wasn't quite enough to have some for leftovers, so this time I'm going to make three boxes. A two pack of crescent rolls. This is for a recipe. Last week I bought the Propel water enhancer and I don't really like it very much. So this time I thought I would try the True Lime Limeade. This is the watermelon. This has good ingredients, no artificial sweetener, no artificial color. So I thought I'd try this water enhancer instead. Lots of canned goods. First I have a can of green chilies for a dinner recipe. Two cans of organic tomato sauce for a recipe. Also a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. Black olives for the charcuterie board. And a can of pineapple tidbits. I'm making a recipe Troy's mom used to make called Waikiki meatballs. They're kind of a sweet and sour Hawaiian meatball. I'm going to be making those for Christmas, so I needed pineapple. A packet of gravy. All they had in stock was gluten-free, which is fine with me. I'm going to make this up for everybody for Christmas Day dinner. I decided to go with the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory No Sugar Added Barbecue Sauce to put with the little smoky so that I can have those as well. As we know, barbecue sauce has lots and lots of sugar, and I can't really tell a difference between regular bar barbecue sauce and the no sugar added sweet baby rays. Also a box of beef broth for a dinner recipe. Lots and lots of produce since that is the staple of my diet. I did pick up some Brussels sprouts. I'm going to roast these up for me for Christmas day dinner. I know my mom's bringing a vegetable too. I'm just not sure what she's putting in it. So I thought that I would be safe and pick up some Brussels sprouts for myself. I also grabbed some fresh asparagus for that sheet pan dinner. Sliced mushrooms for a recipe. Lots of avocados. This has kind of been my go-to and I'm just buying the small avocado so that I can eat half at a time. That way it doesn't go bad. A lemon and a green bell pepper. The lemon is for a recipe and the green bell pepper is for those Waikiki meatballs. I also needed a red and yellow bell pepper for a dinner recipe. A big huge bag of potatoes for the mashed potatoes. I like to make them with either gold or Yukon. Chives for a dinner recipe and then rosemary for the charcuterie board. I'm going to add rosemary because it looks like little Christmas trees. So I'm going to add that for garnish on the board. I also picked up three zucchinis for the sheet pan dinner and then the rest for snacking. Also my fruit is always berries so I did grab a pack of blackberries, a big pack of blueberries and then even a bigger pack of raspberries. Some baby spinach for salads and I do like to toss this in my eggs to get in my greens. A big bag of shredded lettuce for a dinner recipe and then for frozen vegetables I did two broccoli and one cut green beans. So that is everything with the exception of a case of Coors Light. This will take care of Christmas as well as our meals for the next week. So let's hop into my dinners for the next week and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here's what I have planned for dinners for the week. This is the week of 1225 through 1231. So obviously today is Christmas day. Tomorrow Sunday I'm making a shrimp taco bowl. Stay tuned for this recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. And then on Monday I'm going to do a shrimp and sausage sheet pan dinner. That's what the zucchini and the shrimp and things that I picked up are for. Tuesday's a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm making a crock pot paleo chili, which I'm really excited about because it's cold and we have lots of snow here right now. And then of course, Thursdays and Fridays are always leftover nights as well, so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making turkey and egg muffins. Lunch is going to be turkey zucchini meatballs. Very excited for these, I love a good meatball. And then I'm making churro cheesecake bars for a dessert mainly for Troy, but that is our dessert for the week, lunch and breakfast. You'll be seeing all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing my rather large haul, my dinner plans for the next week, as well as all three recipes that you'll be seeing on Monday for my meal prep. Don't forget to check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all of my very favorite things, and of course, come on over, join us on Facebook. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.